25 interesting facts you didn't know about Japan. Japan is home to the oldest company in the world that is still in business today. It's called Kongo Gumi, and it's been in business since 578 AD. Kongo Gumi is a construction company that specializes in building shrines and temples. And a little bonus on this fact for you, Japan actually has the top five oldest companies in the world that are still in operation today. The other ones are Nishiyama Onsen, Koman Hotel, Hoshi Hotel, and Genda Shigyo, which is a ceremonial paper company. They make products such as Mizuhiki, which is a colored paper that's been twisted into cords that's used at weddings and funerals. Japan is one of the worst countries in the world for earthquakes. Depending on who you ask, it's number one. But Japan has over 1,500 earthquakes every year. Now, why so many earthquakes in Japan, you may be asking? Well, Japan sits atop an area called the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's made up of tectonic plates. And as you may know, that's what causes earthquakes. The tectonic plates shift, shakes the earth, earthquake. Thankfully though, for Japan, they have some of the best earthquake detection systems in the world. They have over a thousand earthquake detectors located around the country, so they always know when and where the earthquakes are going to be. The Japanese eat raw horse meat. They have a dish called basashi, which basically is horse meat sliced thinly and served cold. Now, it may seem like a weird idea, and you may be watching this thinking, mm, I'd never eat horse. Well, don't knock it until you try it. You just need to quit horsing around, go to Japan, and try it out. Houses in Japan typically don't hold their value very well. In fact, they typically lose value and depreciate similar to how cars do. The typical Japanese house is basically worthless by the time it's 30 years old, meaning you could have a plot of land with a old house or the same plot of land with no house on it and the empty plot is actually gonna be worth more. Now, one of the reasons for this is a lot of Japanese houses are built pretty cheaply because people tend to want newer and newer things. So the idea was let's make new houses more often and then people can just get new houses. Also, Japan has a lot of earthquakes, Japan has a lot of tsunamis, stuff like that. So houses weren't really built to last. And when these houses age, they can develop many problems. If you see a cheap house in Japan, you may not actually want it. Japan is not a very diverse place, as far as the people go anyway. It's estimated that 98.5% of the Japanese population is Japanese. This may seem absurd as the modern world is becoming more and more multicultural, but the Japanese don't care. They don't care what you think, they don't care what I think, they're gonna do their own thing. One of the reasons Japan stays so homogenous is they have a stringent visa requirement and they're very traditional in their culture. They want to preserve their history and their traditions, and I respect that. Japan is one of the oldest countries in the world as far as the citizens go, with the average citizen having a median age of 48.6 years old. In fact, the only country with a higher median age is Monaco, but I feel like that country doesn't really count because they only have 38,000 people versus the 125 million plus that are in Japan. And here are some reasons for a older population. Japan's birth rate is super low. In 2021, there were fewer than 400,000 babies born. In a country with 125 plus million people, that is not many. The birth rate is so low in Japan that they actually sell more adult diapers than they do baby diapers. Japanese people have the second highest life expectancy of anybody in the world at 84.6 years old. Among Japanese babies born in 2021, 52% of girls and 27.5% of boys can expect to live to 90. Japan has the highest per capita fish consumption of any country in the world. It is said that the Japanese eat 17 million tons of fish per year. And apparently 10% of all the fish caught on earth is eaten by Japanese people. And they only make up less than 2% of the world's population. 
the Japanese are typically not fans of tattoos. Tattoos are associated with gangs and organized crime, kind of like the Yakuza. Because of this association, many tattooed people are actually forbidden from entering swimming pools, hot springs, beaches, and even gyms. Nearly half of the world's zippers are made by one company, a Japanese company. Now, chances are, if you check the zipper on your clothes right now, it's gonna say three letters on it, YKK. And that stands for Yoshida Kogyo Kabushi Kikaisha. I can see why they abbreviate. It is estimated that they make seven billion zippers every year. Japan is a very clean country. Streets in Japan are immaculate, even in Tokyo. Now, that being said, how does Japan accomplish this? How do they stay so clean? Well, it's all about their mindset. The Japanese are taught from a very early age not to leave trash out in the street. Additionally, volunteers come into the cities to pick up any trash that's found around because everybody wants to live in a nice, clean, tidy city. Animated films and TV shows from Japan account for 60% of the world's animation-based entertainment. And yes, I'm talking about anime. It is so popular in Japan that there are over a hundred schools dedicated to learning voice acting. So Japanese students can grow up one day to be anime stars. One of the most distinctive natural landmarks in Japan is Mount Fuji. But wait, I know you've heard about this before you may not know a couple things about it. It stands 3,776 meters tall, and it is the highest mountain in Japan. It is also considered sacred by the Shinto religion. But wait, Mount Fuji gets even cooler. Did you know it's actually an active volcano? Its last eruption was in 1707, but the Japanese still monitor it 24 hours a day just to make sure it doesn't erupt again. Japan has 108 volcanoes. It is the number three most volcanic country in the world. Only Indonesia and Chile have more. Some people believe that the land of Japan, the land of the rising sun, was lifted out of the sea by volcanic activity. Portugal is known to be the first European country to visit Japan. The Portuguese arrived in 1543 at Nagasaki's port. This initial Portuguese visit signaled the beginning of the Nanban trade period. It spanned from 1543 to 1614. Now during this time, the Japanese and Portuguese traded together freely. Japan was introduced to new European cultural practices such as shipbuilding and weapon making. And it is said during this time, the Portuguese introduced tempura to Japan, which as some of you may know, it has been very, very popular there. Japan used to be completely isolated from the rest of the world due to the massive influence that European culture had on Japan and since their first meeting in 1543. Tokugawa Lemitsu, the shogun of Japan, closed Japan to all foreign people in 1635. During this time period, anyone caught using European goods was punished. This law, known as the Sokoku Edict of 1635, lasted over 200 years. Japanese people use a seal instead of a signature. These seals, called hanko, are basically stamps. So rather than signing your name on a piece of paper, you stamp your name. Hanko are basically a person's name transcribed into kanji letters. Japanese adults will typically have their own three hankos, one for casual everyday use, one for more professional use, and one really fancy one for special occasions. Just so you know, they still use digital signatures if they have to sign for something online. They still do e-commerce, of course. And by the way, Japan is not the only country to use hankos. It's also in China and Korea and other countries. Eating at KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken is a Christmas tradition in Japan. Now, even though most of Japan is not Christian, Christmas is still celebrated on a secular level. An estimated 3.6 million people 
go to KFC to enjoy their Christmas dinner every year in Japan. Now, this tradition apparently first started in 1970 at the first KFC ever opened in Japan. The manager was a marketer and he wanted to bring more people in. So he introduced the party barrel for people and advertised it as a good alternative to a Christmas turkey. And it caught on. Japan has a highway that passes through a building. In Osaka, the Hanshin Expressway goes through an actual building on the fifth, sixth, and seventh floors of the Gate Tower building. Although the people working inside the buildings are not bothered by this as they have good soundproofing and thick walls. The highway isn't disturbing anybody inside the building. Napping and falling asleep on the job isn't a big deal in Japan. Now, it's not uncommon to see people on the train taking a nap, dozing off, but at work, you, you can get away with it. Being caught napping at your desk on a work day actually is a sign of hard work, and your boss appreciates that. Slurping up your noodles is actually considered polite if you do it loudly. So if you're ever in a noodle restaurant in Japan, do not be afraid to slurp up those noodles because the louder you slurp on your noodles, the bigger the compliment to the chef. Slurping loudly on your noodles tells the chef that you are enjoying the food and that it tastes very good. Fruit is one of the best gifts you can give in Japan. This is actually a Japanese tradition because fruit used to be pretty rare. There aren't a whole lot of fruits native to Japan. So back in the day, giving someone a gift of fruit was a pretty big deal. Obviously today it's not as much of a big deal, but going with tradition, fruits are still given. And one of the coolest fruits that people give is the square watermelon. These are pretty interesting. They have to be grown a special way. Basically they put a box around the growing fruit and let it grow into the square. The reason that they do this actually is so you can stack them and store them easier and then you can put them on display for sale. And these melons can actually sell for over a hundred US dollars. Japan has the shortest national anthem of any country in the world. It's called the Kimigayo, and it means His Imperial Majesty's Reign. It's only four lines long. It is also considered one of the oldest national anthems in the world, being written during the Heian period, somewhere in the area of the 8th to 12th centuries. Are you familiar with Japanese kitchen knives? They're known to be some of the best in the world. And I'm gonna tell you why. Now, back in the 1800s in Japan, there was a ban imposed on carrying swords. Now, the idea behind this was to make Japan more modern, but basically it took jobs away from the swordsmiths. So instead of making swords, the swordsmiths went to making kitchen knives. They put all their effort and all their wisdom and knowledge into making these, and that's why they're so good. So that was the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.